hands in the way, stay in your lane. Put your hands up, we ain't backing down. Soldiers. Yes, people of God, happy pre love day. <laughs> I pray success, love, and happiness, contentment. It is well, it is well, it is well with our soul. Glory to God. Um, as you guys can see, the word from the Lord is do not let or do not allow the enemy to trick you out of your position glory to god with that being said let's pray over this word dear heavenly father we invite you in this place have your way in this place manifest your presence in this place oh god let the words that i speak be not of me but of your holy spirit oh god Father God, touch every person watching this video, meet every need, cover this word. We believe you to do it and we know that you will, oh God. Let your will be done here on earth as it is in heaven. In Jesus' mighty name we pray, amen. People of God, the Lord, people of God, is calling some of you forth. The Lord says, many are called, but few are chosen. The Lord says, by grace alone, you have been chosen. Glory to God. People of God, the Lord is calling some of you guys to leave that state, that city, that town, that situation. Glory to God. The Lord says, nothing can happen to you without him knowing. Sparrows can't fall to the ground without the Lord knowing. How much more are you to him? Glory to God. The Lord says, anyone who blesses you will be blessed. Anyone who curse you will be cursed. Glory to God. People of God, the Lord says, leave that place that town, that situation, dust the dirt off your feet, dust your feet off, and remove your peace if that place is not worthy. Glory to God. The Lord says, stop going around that same old mountain, round and round and round. The Lord says, something that was supposed to take 30 days or 40 days is going to take 30 years or 40 years if you don't stop going around that mountain. The Lord says you already won. You already won the victory. The Lord says stop letting the enemy trick you out of your position. Those negative thoughts, those familiar spirits. Glory to God. The Lord says, by his grace alone, you survived. Glory to God. The Lord says, some of you guys had curses from curses passed down from generation to generation, people of God. But God made a promise oath to your family before you. The Lord says, your, your obedience is key. You following instructions is key because the people before you, God took them through their journey and promised them certain things as well. So this is why you had to go through some of the things you went through. And this is why you had to take the roads that the Lord led you on. Okay. And also because, of course, he sees what we can't see. Okay. So the Lord says you are crossing into your promised land. You are crossing over to your promised land. The Lord says, do not forget about him. Do not forget what he took you through. Do not forget the miracle signs, wonders. The Lord says his house will be a house of prayers, not a house of robbers. Glory to God. The Lord says, protect his children at all costs. Hallelujah. Glory to God. Um... The Lord gave me two analogies. One was from David and Bathsheba. The, the Lord um, gave David everything. David had everything. He was in need of nothing. And there was one guy with one little sheep, one beautiful wife. And out of all David's beautiful wife, out of all the riches, the glory, the fame, David went and stole this one man's beautiful wife, this one man's beautiful lamb. And the Lord says, do not, the Lord says to stay in your lane. Some of us are going to be switching lanes. 
But the Lord says to stay in your lane. You know, I kept seeing a vision of like, you know, when you're driving a car, right? And there's two lanes and then there's somebody driving slow in front of you. So you try to switch over to the other lane to get in front. But then you know how you have those some cars um, when you switch over, all of a sudden they want to speed up. You know, they don't want to let you get in front of them. Everybody else can pass them, but they're not trying to let you get in front of them. But you was just driving slow, you know, or there's the ones where you're driving and somebody trying to cut you off and stay and try to stay in front of you. Make sure you don't get back, get in front of them. It was like that. The Lord said to stay in your own lane. Glory to God. The other analogy the Lord gave me was the book of Esther. Okay. The Lord said with Bathsheba, she didn't really do nothing bad, but it cost her because of her disobedience. The king was calling her to come and basically show off her beauty to like a whole bunch of men and to like arouse them, you know, and she probably just didn't feel like it that day. She probably didn't feel like being their, their horn bucket or something. She probably didn't feel like being that right? Because she's the queen, right? But because of her disobedience, it cost her. It dethroned her. It cost her everything because they had to make an example. If we allow this, what is going to happen with all these other women? How they're going to treat their husbands, their kings, whoever? She's going to set an example. If the queen did it, we can do it. So they had they had to teach her a lesson. They had to send a message forth to the whole nation. And of course, if you read the story, Esther became queen and Esther was chosen to save her people. Glory to God. So the Lord says, do not allow the enemy to trick you out of your position, people of God. The Lord says to stay in your lane, people of God. Glory to God. Hallelujah. The Lord says there is a whole nation. There is thousands. There is millions, billions of people waiting for you to get into position, to stay in position so they can fulfill their purpose, their destiny. Glory to God. By your obedience, you're helping that generation behind of you. You're opening that door. Glory to God. You're saving your people's life. You're breaking those generational curse off of your family that was passed down from generation to generation to generation. Glory to God. The Lord says, remember who you are. Remember your position in Christ. Stop trying to jump in somebody else's lane. The Lord says, know who you are in Christ and let's run this race. Glory to God. So um, I pray that this blesses you guys. Um, for those of us still on this fast, I pray success. Okay, I believe Monday or Tuesday is my last day. I'll double check my math. Um, and people of God, I pray that this meets you in peace. And until next time, Shalom. No way, stay in your lane. Put your hands up, we ain't.